Hey guys, what's up? Justin here, and I'm bringing the Lamborghini out today, uh, and I don't know, I thought, you know, this weekend, a good time to drive, right? Like, haven't driven it as much as I'd like, and yet today, of all days, is a freaking typhoon, but does it matter? No, it does not. It makes no difference to me. So we're gonna drive this thing in the typhoon for no freaking reason. And you know, you might be saying like, uh, Justin, um, excuse me, you shouldn't be driving your Lamborghini uh, when it's raining. Look, I know, I got it. I don't even have gasoline in the car. Do you see that? That's how much I care. I'm just gonna stall on the side of the road because I, I don't give a damn. No, but actually I'm gonna put some gas in the car, but for right now, I just, I don't feel like getting wet and yeah, I'm not gonna drive that long. So we're just gonna cruise around town here for a couple minutes. Um, the typhoon has kind of like calmed down a little bit. So that's cool. Um, you know, it, it's not like extreme wind uh, like yesterday and the rain is mostly like switching between heavy and soft. Like just before I started uh, filming, like when I left my house, it was coming down like I don't know, something out of Jumanji, but right now, seems to be okay. Oh, those downshifts, nice. All right, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's one of my schools over there, we're gonna pass by that. I wonder if my, uh, my students are... Oh yeah, yeah, there's a couple coming down the hill, but I don't have time to stop. I got stuff to do. Let's continue. By stuff to do, I mean just make pointless videos that don't really mean anything, so. Here we go. Oh yes, put this baby in Corsa. And we're gonna drive by. Ooh. And we're gonna slow down right here because this car is much too wide. And Unfortunately, that's one of the downsides of Japan is that uh, the roads are really small. There's nowhere to pull over to so like I don't know if I managed to catch it on video a second ago But the guy was like sitting on the side of the road with his hazards on That's pretty much what you do And uh, honestly that sucks. That super super sucks uh, Because it forces you to go over into the other lane and like ultimately holds up traffic like this country was not designed for roads at all like or not for roads but for cars um, I don't particularly enjoy driving in Japan it's very like uh, oh, there's a lady there I almost killed her but that's cool um, yeah it's very troublesome to do this like um, like okay so maybe if you go to a bigger city like Nagoya, which uh, is newer, or Hiroshima that was uh, regrettably destroyed during World War II, um, the roads are generally small. Like, things that I personally would consider a one-lane road are actually two lanes. So I find myself oftentimes, especially in this car because of how wide it is, like having to roll down this window, look over the side like, oh, am I going to fall in the rice field? I don't know. Let's have a party. And uh, thankfully, I've yet to fall in the rice field. If I do, it's probably going to be a huge hit on YouTube. So I'll be like, hey, Foreigner drives Lamborghini into rice field. So that'll be cool. I'll get like 100 views. Not bad. Pretty good investment, if you ask me. And just like this, there's no turn lane, right? So he's kind of stuck. They're stuck. I'm stuck. Everybody's stuck. No good. All right. Ugh, these shifts are aggressive. All right. Okay, so we'll call it a wrap there. Catch you next time. Peace. Peace.